Well, the BNP is expected to bring a big economic boost to local businesses. The world's fifth largest tennis tournament brought in tens of millions of dollars each year to the Valley before it was canceled back in 2020. Today, I spoke about this and other issues affecting businesses with the CEO of the Palm Desert Area Chamber of Commerce, Randy Florence. Randy, I'd like to start off by asking you about the BNP. How crucial is it to our Valley and what are you hearing from business owners? Well, everybody's excited, Peter, and, and it is crucial to this valley. You know, the BNP cancellation last year was really the first, that was kind of the beginning of everything that, that started dropping off the calendar. So the fact that it's coming back in October, I think again, and I talk a lot about the emotions of the area, uh, the emotions are raised again because we're bringing one of our big events back. What it's meaning for the businesses, I, I think it's pretty obvious out in the streets right now, um, the traffic, the buses, the hotels are full, the restaurants are full. Every business owner that I'm talking to right now has told me that they're already starting to see an impact from a tournament that just started within the last 48 hours. So good to hear. What are some of the challenges, though, that you're hearing from business owners? Obviously, we're still dealing with the pandemic. Yeah, clearly, there's still challenges with getting enough help at each one of the, the, the restaurants. You know, they need more people. This is a really good time for all of us. You know, the other night, my wife and I went to desert, uh, dinner in Palm Desert, and we just knew, you know, they're short-staffed. It's going to take a little bit longer. Let's be patient, but let's support this restaurant. I think the lack of uh, available employees right now is definitely having an impact on them. And then some of them, again, business by business, Peter, they're making decisions on how they want to handle things related to masks or unmasked, um, and we support the business's abilities to make their own decisions on that. The last time I spoke with you, Randy, we were talking about the big golf cart parade on Halloween, but things have changed since then. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, you know, about a, uh, two weeks ago, we started getting some word from some of the different youth groups and such in town. Uh, we discovered that uh, some of the marching bands that we're planning on having were not going to be able to attend the event. Uh, a lot of the volunteers that we have for the parade are youth organizations. For instance, the, uh, the Rotary Pancake uh, Breakfast, which is, a, which is an institution every single year, they used uh, youth volunteers for that and found out that they were going to, to lose those volunteers. So Peter, the board got together, uh, the chamber board, and we tried to picture a parade without music and children and families. And it just didn't look like much of a parade. So based on that, we made the very difficult decision to postpone the parade. We've not reestablished the date yet, but we are going to do that. Uh, other really good news, our Grand Marshal Tom Flores uh, has agreed to uh, be our Grand Marshal when we hold the parade. Oh, fantastic. I know a lot of people are excited about that. While I have you here, Andy, I wanted to ask you about the Westfield Mall. We noticed that the signage has been removed and we're trying to get answers from both Westfield and the city. Nothing concrete at this moment, but how important is the Westfield Mall in, in if it disappears or is sold? And what are you hearing specifically about what's going on? Yeah, listen, the importance of the mall, um, that's gonna vary by, you know, person by person uh, in opinion. But from my standpoint, uh, if that mall wasn't there, we have a hole in the middle of our business district that needs to be filled one way or the other. The chamber is very interested with whatever the eventual plans are going to be there. Uh, I am trying to establish conversation with folks over at Westfield. I have been in conversations with people at the city. Uh, whatever direction we end up going, the chamber would love to play a big role in this because that's a huge retail piece of our city and our community. And at this point, you haven't gotten answers either. I have not either, but I did have lunch over there, so at least I know it's open. <laughs> well, that's always good. All right. Well, Randy, as always, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Peter.